plate goes like this. Another one like that. 63-year-old Ronnie Slusser of Gladewater has a steady hand for the first time in 15 years. That's amazing, isn't it? Even to me. For years, Ronnie had suffered with Parkinson's disease and many of its debilitating symptoms, especially stiffness. As years progressed, well, it got to where I could just, it just all of a sudden, I'd freeze up wherever I was, outside, in the house, wherever, I couldn't move maybe 30, 40 minutes, maybe two or three hours before I can get up and start functioning again. Parkinson's disease already had affected other members of his family. My dad had it. My granddad had it. And my older sister had it. So some it's in the family out of 10 kids and parents and all. This is Ronnie. Me and him have been working out this morning out in the field. This is what he's like when he freezes up. Ronnie's wife Opal says her husband realized how serious the disease was impacting him after seeing himself on home video. When he gets up, he cannot get up from there. Yeah, they pull me up. We had to pull him up. <laughs> and I've had to pull him up out of the floor. In February, Ronnie had deep brain stimulation at the ETMC Neurological Institute. During the surgery, two thin wires called leads were implanted into the brain. The leads are connected in the neck and upper chest to a neurostimulator. As a result, Ronnie has achieved greater control over his body movements. Great surgery, great doctors, great hospital. You don't have to go to Dallas, you don't have to go to Houston. We have it right here in East Texas, and that's the greatest part of the whole thing. Yeah, I've worked another Today, day. Ronnie can once again tinker with his truck and tractors. Wouldn't even think about doing some stuff I'm doing now, especially this heavy stuff. And pick up his life where it left off 15 years ago when he was diagnosed. It's just a different way of life. You still have Parkinson. I hope one day they get rid of that part of it. But as far as this part, it's the next thing to cure.